Hey, what's going on guys? It's Blaze, aka Ace Blizzard, and I'm here to bring to you today a little uh, tutorial video on how to use the Realm Total War movie cam. So first thing is to you need to enable the movie cam. To do that, just uh, check out the dub R's vid. It's going to be on the side here, and uh, it'll show you how to activate the movie cam. Alright, so let's just load a battle replay. You can use any old battle replay. Um, let's use the one that I used for the cinematic. Okay, so it's actually very simple, and if you, if you're, uh, I don't actually have any talent in filmmaking, but uh, if you have uh, any interest, uh, just uh, you know, this is a little tool for you to use. All right, so this is the movie cam. Um, first thing you want to do is turn numlock off. I don't know why, but it it uh, it activates the controls to do film stuff. Okay, so all this stuff's gone on the side, the blue stuff. So what you need to do is press spacebar. And uh, press spacebar again, and that'll bring back the stuff. Okay, so it, the controls are also uh, to, uh, little control tutorials in Dubar's vid. But if you want to, just a little run through here: uh, three and one go left and right like that. Then four and six rotate like this. Uh, eight and two go forwards and backwards. Uh, minus and plus up down. And then the slash and the star go well up and down like this. All right, so let's see. Oh yeah, the movie cam does. You can do a lot of uh, cool little camera shots. Get really in close. You can also use this for good screenshots. Here we go. That looks like a nice little screenshot, doesn't it? All right, very epic. To make sure this video actually works, you need to press enter. That'll get the video working. You come back, you can see that there's going to be a line below your time scale that's going to show where you are on the time scale for your battle. You need to make sure that disappears this little line here, otherwise your your recording's not going to work. Okay, so let's move on to a little more interesting part of the battle. Okay. So, uh you notice that you can fast forward while you're in this mode, but uh Make sure that you, uh, when you actually want to do the actual movie stuff, you press Enter, get out, and then press Spacebar. That's when you need. That's when you're doing the actual movie editing. You need to press Enter and Spacebar all the time. You cannot use this little thingamajigger here. This thing's only to skip part to certain areas. Um, okay, so the main part of this uh, technique is to use keyframes, which you do by pressing Insert. And to do that, you have to make sure you're in this in this uh, screen. And uh, you press insert, and it'll show you a little yellow line here. So this line will show you the first keyframe. And let's say you want to do a cinematic shot. So press enter. Let's let the video play. And let's say you want to go here. So from that area we were at before to here. So press uh, spacebar. Press insert, and there you can see it's inserted another keyframe. And what's going to happen is that your camera is going to sweep from the position of the first keyframe to the second keyframe. Now, what you can do is press S to save. What this does is it puts a file in the Rome Total War folder called Movie Cam Path or something like that. And be careful though, because you can only uh, save one file at a time. Okay, so you press S and you press R to reload it. Okay, so to load that uh, cam path, you press L, and there you can see your keyframes show up, saved as they were before. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward to those keyframes until we get there. So we're at the first keyframe, all you do is press enter, and there you go. So this is a sweeping shot you can do, and that's the basic one that you want. Alright, and that's the basic uh, basic one. You can see that it went from this keyframe here to this keyframe to the different movie position. Now let's say you want to do a static shot, so you just uh, sit here. Uh, you can't just uh, insert keyframes wherever you want when you want to do a static shot. You gotta have a period of time where you move, your camera doesn't move at all. So to do that, just press enter. Let it run for a bit. 
press spacebar. Then you insert another keyframe. And you can see this little area here. It's a little bit. This is going to be a static shot. So your camera doesn't, your camera doesn't move at all. Okay. Uh, next one we're going to do is a cut. So let's just uh, press enter to make the video go forward. Press spacebar. Now if you want to cut to a different part of the battlefield, like say over here. What you're going to do is insert a keyframe. And you can see that it's connected to the previous keyframe. What you want to do is use the brackets to maneuver around your keyframes. You see how I'm doing this? Okay, so you go to the end one, then you go to the ne to the uh, one before it, press end, and here you see that the keyframes have been split up on the time scale. Alright, let's just uh, show a little video. Insert a keyframe, and then press S to save it, press R to reload, and we'll I'll restart this video when we get back to that sequence. Alright, so we're back here. Press L. There is our sequence. And, uh, yep, just uh, fast forward until you get there. Alright, so what we're going to demonstrate here is the cinematic sweeping shot, which is going to be this area. You can see my mouse. Then the next shot is going to be the static shot, which is here. And then it's going to be the next static shot, but it's going to be cut towards the enemy army. So you can see that little bit here, and you can see how it's kind of split up. All right, let's press uh, Enter to see how it looks. So that was the cinematic sweeping shot, and this is the static shot. And here's the cutting shot. So you're going to want to uh, do a lot of editing post-production because I can see the cut is not exactly perfect. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot of work to do a lot of editing. Anyways, that's the, the end of this tutorial. I hope that this gives you some tools to make your own cool machinima videos. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, catch you guys later.